Hello, 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 guys. It's been 30 years since my last major uh, publication in uh, gravity research. And I thought uh, it's time to uh, let you guys know what's going on, both in the field of uh, anti-gravity research and a couple of points about uh, what I've been doing. And um, from now on, I've decided to spend a lot of time getting you guys up to speed on uh, the current state of the research in uh, anti-gravity and uh, uh, walk you through some uh, demonstrations that you can do pretty much at home with some uh, materials and some things you can buy very inexpensively online to see actually how the the physics of gravity uh, actually is working and it's uh, in my mind not very complicated well thanks for tuning in guys it's uh, a pleasure to be sharing uh, some uh, concepts with you today and uh, a lot of things have changed in 30 years and on the positive side of things of course we have cell phones and uh, internet that's a big one and we've also got YouTube now pretty much anybody with an iPhone or an Android phone can self-publish uh, their work or their ideas to the internet for the world to see and I've decided uh, it's a time to uh, let you guys in on a few of the things that I've known for many years that explains what gravity really is and how it may be possible to artificially generate uh, anti-gravity like forces and uh, if you stay tuned I'll be walking you through uh, a number of videos uh, not sure how many yet but I have a long list of videos uh, on the drawing board and hopefully I'll be able to put something out uh, every few days or every few weeks so uh, in this video I just want to walk through some of the uh, research uh, that has been done in the last 30 years uh, in the gravity area uh, that we know of of course there are probably secret projects going on everywhere uh, in in big uh, aerospace companies and uh, military uh, uh, groups uh, all over the planet uh, but I don't have access to that information but uh, the public information I will be sharing and uh, I'll also be sharing some of the uh, not in this video but the next video I'll be making some demonstrations uh, showing the original uh, electrogravity theories that I published in 1987 uh, how it works and you can actually put together some simple demonstrations at home uh, with some very simple equipment to prove to yourself that uh, gravity is in fact a pseudo force it's not a real fundamental force but it's a side effect uh, of other fundamental forces and uh, I'm very excited to bring this to you as a, as a new video series and uh, I do apologize for having been silent for 30 years more or less but I've been actually very active not only with raising a family and um, uh, being busy with a career I'm gonna walk you through uh, some things about gravity and anti-gravity research and uh, uh, a series of videos uh, with demonstrations that you can pretty much uh, uh, put together at home in, on, in the garage or in the kitchen bench uh, so you can see for yourself how gravity actually is a pseudo force it's not a real fundamental force but it's a side effect of uh, normal electrical uh, forces and I'm excited to see uh, a, a new movement in the uh, electric universe uh, understanding of uh, the cosmos uh, although they don't have uh, figured out uh, the math or the uh, 
the motor or the battery behind the, uh, the electrical fields of the universe, uh, I can. I'll be. I am going to show some demonstrations on how the electrical universe model is quite accurate. Uh, I don't agree with everything they're saying, but I'm going to show you how how it is quite possible, and uh, I believe it. Uh, is not only possible but how electrogravity uh, feels between uh, the bodies of the universe is the cause of a lot of the phenomena we're seeing and the basic uh, key that uh, I've noticed uh, other researchers in this field of uh, gravity seem to be missing is the concept of uh, divergence uh, there, there have been uh, several people, uh, both with theories and experimental devices, and uh, one test was done by NASA uh, on uh, replicating the Hooper device. And uh, all of these uh, efforts are missing the single most important point about electrogravity, and that is divergence of, of, the, uh, of a field and how um, divergence actually pulls um, both uh, smaller objects, uh, atoms and molecules, and larger objects, uh, planets, suns, uh, cars, you name it, towards the center of the convergence of the field. The field can be electric, it can be uh, other types of fields, uh, but when it acts on, a, on uh, the charges within uh, atomic particles, there will be a charge separation, and the uh, separation will cause a net force, because the, the force on the positive and negative charges are not equal because they're separated a little bit because of the polarization. And that will cause, um, that is actually the course of, of what we consider as gravity. Gravity is not a fundamental force. That's another uh, fallacy that I, I strongly uh, want to voice here. Uh, gravity is not a fundamental force. It's a pseudo force. It's a side effect of um, the divergence of a electrical type of field is actually a Laplace uh, force that generates a electrical field that's non-shieldable and um, without uh, getting too theoretical here I want to just show you with a whole bunch of uh, hands-on experiments simple experiments in my lab that you can replicate at home and see for yourself uh, how gravity is in fact a pseudo force due to the uh, dielectric separation of uh, charges in, in uh, material things and how there is a net force uh, on objects attracting towards the center of the field. A couple of years after I published uh, the uh, basic electrogravity axioms uh, through my website in 1994, uh, Dr. Podletnov, not sure how you say his name, uh, wrote up a paper for uh, publication in 1996. Uh, and before he could even get it uh, fully published, uh, uh, that was leaked to a news organization in England and uh, he got a bad rap uh, from the university where he was working at the time in Finland. Uh, the news organization was claiming that uh, anti-gravity machines and uh, the big uh, taboo subject of gravity had been solved. And uh, from what I, I wasn't there, but from what I understand, he got fired or he got let go uh, from the university and you had to go back to uh, uh, his homeland Russia and uh, carry on his research uh, uh, and I think the paper that he had uh, published or 
not published but submitted for publication was withdrawn and uh, there was a whole flap around that whole thing but he actually claims he had rotating uh, chargers through some uh, semiconductors that were super cooled uh, and uh, to me that sounds like a solid principle uh, but unfortunately um, he was never able to get it replicated uh, through some other organizations so um, his his work kind of uh, is there but uh, has some big questions around it and the BBC made a documentary uh, on some of the anti-gravity research that's been going on for the last uh, uh, oh, I guess uh, 20 or 30 years and uh, his work was not uh, it was not replicated and was not confirmed to be valid. Thank you.